So I'm Denise Chiquito, licensed acupuncturist and Chinese herbalist, and this is and Kate I'm Jones. Kate. I'm Kate Jones, and I'm a body-centered life coach working in San Francisco and San Mateo. Been doing it for a few years. Mm -hmm. Welcome to this third and final part of our Learning to be Centered in Challenging Times workshop. Mm -hmm. And as I said right at the beginning, you can find all the replays for, for parts one and two so far in our Facebook group learning to be centered in challenging times and they will soon be available also on YouTube as well. You know Denise I just wanted to say this to everyone too is uh, we are really enjoying doing this uh, project and if you have any thoughts or desires to hear Denise talk anything about the acupuncture herb moxibustion world or any mm -hmm. questions about body-centered somatically oriented life coaching we'd love to speak to whatever your interests are so you could pop those in the chat box too and you can always email or call kate or myself and our information is here on the screen for you all right now i'll talk a little bit about what i'm going to be presenting today and first say that I'm an acupuncturist and herbalist. I work in San Francisco and Alameda, California. And I also am now doing telemedicine so you can be anywhere and have an appointment with me. And I've been working in the Bay Area for about 13 years. I've been an acupuncturist for 15 years or so. I think maybe a little longer. <laughs> um, and today I'm gonna to be talking a little bit about herbs, Chinese herbs, and safety taking Chinese herbs. And then we're going to do a Qigong form. I'm going to do a demonstration of the six healing sounds Qigong form. So let's get started talking a little bit about some quick self-care tips that you can use in difficult times. Welcome to part three. So the thing I want to say the most important about Chinese herbs is that as an acupuncturist and herbalist, it's my duty to check, cross-check drug herb interaction for my patients. So please keep in mind that the herbs I'm going to talk about today, the herbal formulas, um, if you're taking any Western medication, you do want to have your Chinese herbalist, acupuncturist, to cross check to make sure there is no drug herb interaction. And that's really important. Um, and so some formulas that we need right now are formulas to help with our immune health, digestive issues, stress, pain, insomnia. Those are some of the issues that have come up during shelter in place for my patients in my community. And I think that you might know people who are experiencing them as well. So the two formulas I want to talk about today are Yuping Feng San, also called Jade Windscreen. It's a formula that's really good for strengthening your immune system. Uh, we call it a, a windscreen because it's like a screen against, against out the outside that can help protect your body, sort of like our face masks do. <laughs> and Dow Labs has this formula available in a form called immune support. And they also have a formula called emotional balance, which is Xiaoyao San or free and easy wanderer. Now, the immune formula I recommend to people to take every day. And some of my patients have started it before we were sheltering in place and some of them have started it since we're sheltering in place. I take this formula every day myself and it's a really, it's a really good formula to help protect your immune system. And if you, if you're exposed to somebody with the cold or flu, it'll help to fight off the virus. And disclaimer, I'm not saying anywhere here that this will cure the coronavirus. So I'll show you an example of the free and easy wanderer packet. Mm -hmm. And this is apple and cucumber flavored. So it's um, Chinese herbs with some fruit and cucumber and honey 
you pour it into a cup of water and you stir to make it dissolve and then you drink it. I would recommend using room temperature or cold water. If you use hot water, it's gonna taste less like apples and cucumber and more like Chinese herbs. <laughs> but it's a very palatable, easy, convenient way to take your Chinese herbs. And it's, it's really amazing. This, form, this company has come up with a couple of different formulas. There are formulas they have for digestive issues and insomnia and pain as well. These are the ones I'm focusing on today. And if you go to mydialabs.com and enter the discount code Denise in checkout, you will get a 10% discount off of your order. All right, so that's what I wanna say right now. Limited, just a very small bite size way of approaching Chinese herbs because as I said, you wanna double check with your herbalist to make sure that if you are taking Western medication, that it's, there are no contraindications. The six healing sounds Qigong. So Qigong is a form of breath exercise that we do in Chinese medicine that's associated with Chinese medicine. There's also Tai Chi and they are similar. Qigong is more focused on healing exercises. Tai Chi is more based in the martial arts, but it is also good for your health. You will find in general that Tai Chi is more of a workout. <laughs> Oh. And Qigong is more of a, a gentle exercise. Mm. So the six healing sounds Qigong form is taught in various different ways. The one I'm presenting today is taught by Master Montak Chia. This combination of Qigong with healing sounds dates back all the way to the Ming Dynasty. There are five organ systems in Chinese medicine. Each of them have a healing sound and the sixth sound unites them all. And you can find a beautiful interpretation with music by Uval Ron and Dr. Richard Gold on their metamindfulnessmusic.com website and also more information about Montak Chia on his website montakchia.com. Sound can really touch us on an emotional and spiritual level and this is a form of Qigong with the healing sounds that I've been doing for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Without further ado, Let's see the demo. I'm Denise Chiquito, licensed acupuncturist and Chinese herbalist. I'm going to lead you through the six healing sound Qigong meditation as taught by Master Montak Chia. So there are five elements in Chinese medicine and there are six healing sounds. The last one sort of unites them all together. I will demonstrate how to do them first, and then you can do them together the second time around, and I'll just give you the prompts for which element we're gonna be doing, which healing sound we're doing. So we'll start now with the lungs. The healing sound for the lungs is like the sound of a radiator missing or a snake in the grass. So you'll raise your hands above your head, Clasp them, look up, and say Psst. Surround yourself in white or silver glowing light. Breathe in preciousness and breathe out sadness and grief. Next, we'll do the healing sound for the kidneys. For this one, the sound is like you're chewing, but elongate the ooh. You'll bend over a little bit, hold your knees, hug your knees, focus your energy and attention on your kidneys in the back. Surround yourself in a dark blue or black light and say, Breathe in courage and breathe out fear. Next, we'll do the healing sound for the liver. That sound is shh. Like you're trying to quiet somebody down or the sound of leaves rustling in the wind. So for this, we'll raise our hands again 
above her head, clasp them. This time lean over to the left and say, shh. Surround yourself in green glowing light. Breathe in benevolence. Breathe out anger and irritability. Let your hands descend. The healing sound for the heart is H A W is kind of the sound if you write it out. I think of it as the sound if I'm trying to heat up my hands in cold weather, like that. So you'll raise your hands again above your head, clasp them, lean over to the right and say, <sighs> surround yourself in red glowing lights. Breathe in joy and compassion. Breathe out anxiety. Let your hands descend. Next is the healing sign for the spleen. For this one, you'll take your hands and put them under your ribs on the left side. And we'll say the sound as in, who are you? We'll bend over slightly again, like we did with the kidney sound and say, surround yourself in yellow or orange glowing lights. and breathe in intention and devotion. Breathe out worry. The last sound is the triple burner, triple warmer, or sand jow. It is the organ system that unites the three parts of the body, upper, middle, and lower. It helps with heat and fluid metabolism in the body. The sound for the triple warmer is he like he he he. And for this, you're going to raise your hands above your head and say he as you let your hands descend all the way down your body. Okay, we'll do the whole series once more, and I'll just say which element or organ it's for this time. So we'll start with the lungs. Kidneys. Liver. Shh. Heart. <sighs> Spleen. Triple warmer, triple burner, sand down. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me or contact me through social media and I'd be happy to get back to you and provide you with some images 
for each of the sounds as well, if you'd like. Thanks so much and be well. I hope you enjoyed that six healing sounds qigong meditation and another offering i'm making for my community during shelter in place is a meditation series called living with the five elements on instagram each friday at noon pacific time we focus on a different element each week and tomorrow we'll be doing the metal element which is for the lungs and to process grief and sadness and learn about appreciating preciousness. So if you can join me, that'd be great. Thank you so much for your attention. And you can find me everywhere at Chikuto Akyu online. And take it away, Kate. All right. Denise, thank you so much for centering all of us uh, in those uh, movements and sounds. Really nice. I was just savoring the after effect, just sitting in that, it's beautiful. For my contribution today, I wanted to make this third episode of uh, a place where we focus on the body as uh, an integrated system. Um, and we'll talk about the, the core of the body and the periphery of the body and how taking a little practice that allows the periphery to come into uh, coherence with the core uh, creates more of a whole brain function. So the topics for today that I'm going to cover is, we'll talk about the anatomical core and periphery of, of our construction. We'll talk about then the neurological core and periphery. We'll then touch on um, what the integrative movement or practice is that I'm suggesting today, a very simple practice. And I'll introduce uh, the idea of, of uh, the human body structure as a starfish. Uh, and then we, we will also close with a little five minute uh, video practice. So um, here we are, the discus thrower, um, just appreciate uh, that when you when I look at this image, can you can you see that that spiral is really winding up in this um, discus thrower, and he's he's just going to thrust off that back foot and spiral out into space. That is a a wonderful image of um, an integral. Uh, connectedness between the core and periphery of the body. Now, I do want to ask you to think about this. The, why am I bringing this today? Because when we get anxious and stressed, have you noticed not only does our breath become shallow, but we, we kind of feel like we're living very often up in our head that's just racing with this thought and that thought. And we've really lost uh, the sensory connection to the whole body. So by having a practice <clears throat> that re-engages a sensory richness to the whole body um, really brings, transforms the nervous system to be, uh, to experience greater calm, there's greater self-regulation, and a, an ability to think more clearly. So here's uh, the marvelous image uh, if we think about what is the core of the body, it's really from the collarbones down to the sit bones uh, that we sit on. And, you know, all of our organs are uh, contained in the core of the body. And it's a very protected part of our anatomy. If you notice, the arms, the legs, our neck and head are really the appendages the extensions off of the core. Again, if you think about the way you move in a habitual fashion, you, you may discover, if you begin to witness it, that you maybe you're, you freeze the core or you gesture way out at the periphery, 
but there's not really a connected movement um, through the core to the periphery and back again. So we're gonna look at that today. And um, I wanted to just make this little anatomical, neurological offering. Um, but um, th this is an image of the major joints, some of the major joints of the body. And the reason I wanted to bring this to our attention today is that when we move through the joints, um, not only is it our joints that allow us to move in space, but when we move the joints, every joint will emit a slight uh, electrical impulse. It's called the piezoelectric effect. And so we actually generate electricity um, through movement, particularly moving through the joints. I'd like you to see in the next slide, some research has been done. If you look across the horizontal axis there, you can, you can see what kind of valences um, occur of electrical charge of moving the neck, the shoulders, the elbow gets a lot of graph space. Uh, the wrists, our hips, uh, our knees, and our ankles. So it's, uh, it's, it's, when we move our joints, we're lighting up our nervous system in a very special way. And so uh, one more image here to show uh, the body has a core and a periphery, and the nervous system has uh, a core, um, uh, the, the central nervous system is the brain and the nerve cord going down the spine, housed within the spine. And the periphery or the peripheral nervous system is all the nerves that exit from the spine and innervate uh, all the per peripheral uh, structures of our body. Core and periphery, um, is what we're looking at today. So just wanted you to see that circuit. <laughs> I just love this image because if you've never paused to think of how we are similar to this standing starfish, um, it's just kind of a wonderful image to come home to, meaning um, our head floats up on top, our arms and there's our legs coming off the core. And you remember when you studied the starfish that the digestive or the, 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 the central function um, of nourishment in the starfish happens right in the center of the starfish and then the nurturance spreads out into all the appendages. So um, the next uh, what we're going to see next is just this five minute, <laughs> my first effort at making a self video, so uh, bear with that. But um, you'll see um, the education of a little um, practice that allows, to, uh, allows you to awaken the whole body function uh, through this core and periphery. Hello, and thank you very much for tuning in. These few minutes are dedicated to showing the exercise that correlates or integrates the core of the body with the periphery of the body. I spoke to why that's important in the introductory comments, but to say again, the more we integrate the core and the periphery, we're supporting the central nervous system and the brain to function holistically and in an integrated fashion. The outcome of that is we feel more balanced, we feel more centered, and more capable of clear thinking. So what is the core of the body? The core of the body is defined as that area between the clavicles or the collarbone and the sit bones. Core of the body. Periphery of the body 
it are all the appendages that grow off the core, which is our neck and head, our arms, and clearly our legs. So what we're doing now is we're, move, we're starting with our uh, lovely diaphragmatic breath in the core, which we will revisit. And we're going to coordinate that with a simple extension on the exhale of moving into an expansion through the periphery on the exhale. And then on the, um, and we'll, we'll oscillate between an expansion and a turning onto the periphery and a, a folding back into the core. So we're basically going to have the starfish form of our body uh, expanding into space to the periphery and coming back to the core. So following, follow me with this, uh, and I'm so glad you're here to do it. Remember our, our diaphragmatic breathing means we, when we inhale through the nose, we expand the belly. So that's inhaling here, expanding the belly. We like that to be four counts. On the exhalation of breath, let's see about letting that exhale flow out at the back of the throat with the sound of a little bit of a watery stream flowing over those tissues. Inhaling nostrils, expand belly. Exhale through the back of the throat. Belly deflates. Okay, that is our diaphragmatic breath. And as we practice this, we'll, we'll be thinking that four count in, eight, eight count <laughs> out, okay? All right, so let's, uh, we'll do two just simple breath cycles uh, right here in neutral. And after that, we're going to extend through uh, the periphery on the exhale. We'll stay here for another inhale, and we'll uh, bring the we'll bring our appendages in on the exhale. So let's try together. Two right here in neutral. Inhale through the nostrils, expand the belly. Exhale through the back of the throat. Inhale through the nostrils to the belly. Exhale through the back of the throat. Adding the, the arms and legs. Inhale to the belly. Exhale. Extending through the perimeter. Inhale to the belly. Exhale. Belly presses out, emptying, curling in the arms, the legs, the head. Stay here, breathe in. Exhale. This is really kind of fun when you get the hang of it. Breathe in. Exhale, empty the belly. Curling the perimeter in. That is the basic principle of working with core and periphery. There's, we can get much more elaborate about this, but I would encourage you uh, that after you do a few cycles of, of expanding and contracting like the starfish, that you resolve your practice just by lying on your back. Maybe your knees are bent, but just lie on your back and yield to gravity so that you can feel the um, harvest, the benefit of this new harmony that comes into your system. I hope you enjoy your practice. Thank you for practicing today. What a pleasure to be here with you. If you have questions for us, 
around anything Denise has said in any of the episodes or for myself personally. Uh, we're very uh, excited to hear from you. Um, Kate, hey, there is a question from Kristen. Oh. Can we do the exercise standing up? You, you absolutely can do it standing up by bringing, folding through the spine and drawing, if you can manage your balance, drawing one knee in and then re-extend and, and then shift the knee folding in on the other leg. So you can do it sitting, standing. I love lying down. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's, it's quite, and you're turning on all these circuits. So thank you, Kristen, for that question. Thank um, you so much for that practice, Kate. That was really mm -hmm. wonderful, really thank soothing. You. And please feel free to let us know if there's any other topics you'd like to see. Kate and I can collaborate on another one of these workshops. This is the yeah. second time we've done this workshop together. <laughs> we did it in 2017, I think it was. Yeah, two years ago it was. Two, yeah. yeah, two years ago. And we did it in person at Kate's office. And we thought we had to do this again now. We figured people could really use some centering, calming information and self-care. So thank you for attending. Mm -hmm. We really appreciate you being here. And we, we ask you, if you like this, please share the replays with people you love, with your friends, your family, and whoever you'd like to see this. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you um, for joining. Thank you. Thank and you. Um, before we go, we would love to thank Allison. You and bet. then we're going to open the, all the microphones and let you guys say hello and goodbye. So I just want to say, Allison, Allison uh, streaming yeah. with Allison. Allison has been the wizard behind this production. She's a genius. If you're getting ready to run any social media, anything, she's the wizard to call. Allison Victor. And you can see uh, the phone number and website right there. Thank you, Allison, so much. Thank you, Allison. Thank you. you are our Thank rock star. star. Thank you so <laughs> Thank much. Thank you for coming, everyone. Lovely to see you. Thank you. Bye, Kristen. Bye, Annette. Bye. Bye, bye Brenda. Bye, Deborah. Bye, Sally and Shana. <laughs> Thank Beautiful. you. Pleasure. Anybody else Thanks. we missed, we really appreciate you being here. Take care. Be well. Be well. Bye.